Grey Street has been called the finest street in England many times. Um, Sir John Betjeman actually called it the finest street in England. He said it, it had a finer curve than Regent Street, which it does if you look down the street here. Get a good view of that. It's just a beautiful curve and tremendous classical buildings. Tyneside Classical, it's called. And behind you here, you have the Theatre Royal, which is really the masterpiece of this Granger town. And that was designed by Benjamin Green also, who uh, designed Gray's Monument. And uh, this Granger town was built by Richard Granger. Now Granger was a great visionary. And I talked in an earlier video about, about in an earlier video about D. Dan Smith, who was one of Newcastle's great visionaries, despite his faults. And Granger was maybe the greatest visionary that Newcastle's ever had because he built this entire uh, section of town, which is quite huge. In fact, the full limit of his work got kind of demolished. So. Um, Granger Town actually end, it was a good chunk of Pilgrim Street that got knocked down in the 60s as well as Eldon Square, the old Eldon Square but we've still got about um, three quarters of it left and the thing about Granger is that he was a visionary and he was able to bring together the best talents of the time and bring to get, he was able to raise money and had the, pl the political leaders on his side so he's quite an incredible guy and he had this great force about him but the thing is, he had a down like like the T. Dan Smith uh, I mentioned before. He had a great downfall as well. So he was uh, died kind of heavily in debt because of a bad investment he made in Elzig, where he felt the train station was going to be there, and he owed a lot of money to a lot of people. So he had this kind of downfall. But it, at his at his peak, he was. I mean, he was from very humble beginnings as well. So he was born into a very poor family. He was a struggling builder. He managed to marry into money. And um, through his hard work and enterprise, he was able to create this great, great project, Granger Town, um, where he got the finest architects like John Dobson to build it. And he built like 300, uh, there was 300 houses and shops, and there was tarmac roads and sewers, and they were lit up. So it was really a great enterprise. Um, it cost about £600,000 in its day, back in the 1830s, this is. Now, the two main things about Granger Town that he did was the theatre. So he knocked down the old theatre to build that. But the other thing was the market on Granger Street. So the old meat market and the vegetable market down there were filthy places and they weren't very attractive. So he just kind of redesigned everything and a great man. So we've got him to thank for this tremendous, beautiful place that, we, that we're in today.